चेतावनी संरक्षित स्मारक निषेधित तथा नियंत्रित प्रदेश सेंट एंजलोस फोर्ट कन्नौर सो हेर इज द मैप ऑफ सेंट एंजलोस फोर्ट रेफरेंस पार्किंग मेन गेट लाइट हाउस इंफॉर्मेशन सेंटर चर्च ऑफिस पब्लिक कन्वीनियंस रूम अंडर ग्राउंड सेल ए अंडरग्राउंड सेल इज ऑल्सो देर so this is the story how it is we will take the pictures and we'll upload it in the link below we are not so and clean wow so here is the saint angelo's fort kya kar rahe ho idhar i think kuch show koi show hota hai ye chairs lage hain but mere ko lag raha hai bahut din se ye show hua nahi hai kyunki ye chairs unused lag rahi hai and you can see here all the keys are there so कोई होप नहीं है कि अगर शो होगा भी तो दिखेगा। ठीक है। देर इज़ नो नीड ऑफ़ बाइंग एनी टिकट और समथिंग। सो इट्स फ्री बेटर प्लेस टू कम सेट बट डू सम पिकनिक बट डोंट एट इन साइड बिकॉज इट इज प्रोबेटेड हैव फूड आउट सेट कम इन साइड सेट स्पेंड सम टाइम लेट सी I think maybe they they will charge inside. I don't know. This is this is 510 years old fort. In India, there are some different types of the forts. In India, there are different types of the forts: sand fort, mud fort, laterite fort, and water fort. Okay. This is called water fort. Water fort. Because the four sides of the water. Yeah. This the two the sea. Ah, uh, two sides of the sea, yeah. and two sides of the moors. You know about moat. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That is why. this saint angelo fort is another name is water fort water then the first uh, the portuguese viceroy francisco de almeida he built this fort then the first uh, the portuguese sailor the vasco da gama came to kori kodi in 1498 again he visited in kannur in 1502 that time the kannur ruled by one of the local king the kolathiri raja he given a permission to construct the fort here Then 150 years, the Portuguese people were ruling this fort. Then after that, 1663, Dutch people captured. The Dutch people they were modernizing the fort. They constructed bastions. They then they put their own provinces name, the Hollandia, Zeelandia, Friesland. Then 110 years, the Dutch people were here. Then after that, 1772, the Dutch people sold this fort. The first Muslim dynasty, Arakel Ali Raja. to sold 1 lakh rupees and Dutch people went away they went to kochi then finally the 1790 the british came and conquered this fort till independence british occupied this fort british came from the sea route or no the captured by the the fight between the <coughs> media 
then uh, the Portuguese and Dutch people they were using the trade purpose in these forts, but the British people they were using big military station to maintain here. About 155 years, mm. the British people were ruling this forts. 155 years. 155 years. Okay. Now the Archaeological Survey of India maintaining these forts. Yeah. What you can see inside. The firstly, I will. Uh, I, I did say before, no? I did say no, one of the moat. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Then when you are coming to here, 19 canons, 19, one nine. Mm. The big uh, canons from the British people, they mentioned on the top King George, King George, the, uh, the, uh, the crown on the prince, King George. This cannon is having another symbol. It is our King George. King George. Oh, it's a crown is there. So it is a British cannon. Yeah, British we have seen that one is the French cannon. Yeah, French cannon. That was a French cannon. And, and over it you can see the small one, the, the end of the, four, end of the, you can see the VOC. VOC. VOC means like English is the company, Dutch is the company. Oh. VOC, Wenger Rosendorf Company. This cannon from the France. France. The flower of the lily. Lily. Ah, the flower of the lilies. Yeah. That's the scouts, no? But yeah. This is from the France. 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 The inside, you can see the struck one of the cannon balls. It is there, it's still there. Yeah. I can see it. Yeah. This way. Did you see? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, one of the cannon balls stuck inside, still. Yeah. Then, when you are coming the door, no, you can notice the door, no? Yeah, yeah. What's the spikes on the door? Yeah, no? yeah, spikes are there. Yeah, what's the, what the purpose of that? So that uh, no uh, elephant or something ah, can hit the, the elephant, yeah, the elephant yeah. cannot uh, break, no? They break push the it, door. yeah, that is why. Mm, here two, uh, here three prisons are here, three prisons. The end of the barracks, that was a soldier's barracks. That was a soldier's barracks. Yeah. Yeah. In the end of the barracks, you can see the one of the small room. That was a dark prison. Prison? Dark prison. Okay. When the prisoners in wood, before the two door was there, they closed. There is no lights and uh, they did not know day or night. It's dark inside. Then you can see the one of the wall, one of the small small hole is there, the wall the end of the wall. They pass through the food in that hole only. Maybe some sticks or something to push it like that. That's a mental torture. Then that was the L-shaped room, no, that side. Yeah. That was a stable from the uh, from the Dutch period. Stable. Stable means the horses. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Moreover, here two wells here, no? Yeah. Two wells. This one and yeah. He's very close to see, and uh, we can get. This was a armory. Armory means yeah. Armory means used uh, yeah. to keep the arms keep and arms. Arms and armies. Then another building. Then, then another another uh, in a prison is at that side only. There's a low roof prison. Low roof prison. The taller men go inside. No, they can't. They uh, they can't stand properly. Either sitting or laid out only. So now we are going to the third prison of this Angelo's fort. It is a low roof prison. So the height of the prison will be very less. The person inside can only sit or lay down, <laughs> he can't stand, so he'll be having a very good back pain. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, I think the physical torture. Yeah, it's a physical torture. As sir said, <laughs> they think that Portuguese were very cruel. I'm trying to give you the view, view of inside. Oh. It's the lower roof prison. So you can see that the height is very less. The end of the fort, you can see one of the manhole is there. That was an underground cell or water prison. Water prison. When the prisoners in boot, when the high tide, the water is coming on the top. When it fills the water in that prison, the finally they drowned and finally they should die. The Portuguese period and Dutch period they were using execution papers. 
This is the prison. Oh my god. This is the water prison. May, many people will not be knowing what it is. They, they were just thinking why it is here. So, it is a water prison. They used to keep uh, prisoners inside. What is inside? Can we see? I can't see anything. We can't see anything from here. So, when the. Yeah. It is just in front of sea. So, when the water will come. From the top, in a, during the high tide, so the water will go inside and, and inside yeah. and down, and finally they should die. One day they will die. Yeah, maybe because when it you fill the water, yeah. when it you fill the water, they drown. Yeah. yeah. Before I think ten years back, now the sea level and the land level is same. Oh yeah. Now it's uh, the sea is yeah, gone back like that naturally. That is why. The some persons are saying that this was a. To go to the with the telichery or something. That's only the mythology like that. So because so here in this, the in the archaeology department had uh, just checked it. Yeah, check, yeah, the here no. Before I think there are so many people so go inside no. Now it's blocked no. With the help of the ladder, we you go inside. There is no problem at all. Like ladder is there already or no? No, if you want to. Yeah, yeah. yeah now it's blocked. Okay. So, what, do you know what is the dimension of the room inside? It's a, like a big room like that. Uh, when you are going to up, you can see the one of the uh, tomb Tom. is epitaph. Yeah. Tomb is there. That's an old Dutch language. Okay. That's in the written on the old Dutch language. That's called the Flemish language. You know about Flemish yeah. language. <coughs> in Belgian people, in Belgian people, they were they were speaking uh, in uh, Dutch language. The northern parts and uh, Netherlands northern parts. French and they are with the, the three persons they are we are calling Flanders. Flanders. These people speaking in the local language is called In modern days they were a big rich people. They were doing the precious stones and the gold or something. The, they, are, they were rich people. In that mansion of the tomb, one of the viceroy in 1745, one of the Dutch viceroy was here. His name is Gottfried Pfeiffer Magan. He married a, a German lady, Susanna Gertrude Pfeiffer. That time her age was 17 years, 7 months and 16 days. She died and buried there. I think that's not there, I think some other places, no. The Archaeological Survey of India, they put their own board to see the public. Maybe here, the, here in this side, I think the two church was there. It's almost demolished. That's why one of the cathedral is there. That's almost demolished because five or ten years old. That is why. That's enough. Before I told you. Yeah, it is written in Portuguese. No, Flemish language. Flemish, 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 Flemish. Old Dutch okay. language, 200 years old. That's old this Dutch symbol, language. This symbol, 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 no, here, I think here one of the two churches there, that side. Okay. The cemetery is that side only. So Why they they keep this here? No, I think no, this is a uh, archaeological survey of India, no? Yeah. They put this here only. Oh. Okay. They must see the public. Maybe there's some other place. Okay, okay. Because inside, the in under, no, one of the passages there. Mm, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Every fort has some secrets, some yeah. secret doors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see this one, no? this is a, is a written on the Flemish line. This is a Dutch line. Yeah. Here under rust het lijk den Egi, vrouwen van de heer Godefrides, Wevermangen, Susanna Gertrijda, Pfeiffer in de kraam, van een dode zoon, 
overleden de 28 maart in het jaar 1750. Oud zijn de 17 jaar, 7 maanden en 16 dagen. Aan weerszijden van deze sarcosteen liggen begraven twee kinderen van de heer Weijerman. Gedocumenteerd uit de tweede maand de vrouwen... Who is he? Who is speaking in this? This is another Dutchman. Dutchman, he came and he read this here. Here. Oh. Wow. This is useful for us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So this is the lighthouse. That was the lighthouse. It looks like a mast of the ship. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. The Hindi is this material. No, you know about the. That's material, no, constructed by the material. Yeah. What do you know? Well, well, in the olden days, there was no cement. Yeah, yeah. The, you know about the surki, you know about surki material. The surki, that time they were the component, the limestone, yeah. jagri, jagri. Uh, egg white, and one of the tree's leaves, the kulurmavu, and the garnet water and the sand. That is called the surki. That is why the 510 years, you know, there was no leakage at all. There is no leakage at all. It will be very cold from inside. Ah, when you are going yeah. to inside, you can feel the cold. Yeah. And when you are going to the go straight, now you can see one of the passage, you know. Yeah. That was a the Portuguese period, that was the main entrance of the fort. Then one of the big drone bridge was there, took wooden drone bridge was there to connect it to other place. All the persons are coming inside, the bridge is lifted up. Nobody can enter. In that mode, that, that they put the crocodiles and poisonous snakes also. If somebody see the crocodile, no, they dare and go away. <laughs> Suppose he go inside, the crocodile will catch it like mm. that. Yeah, therefore that water. Ah, the water, there's a moat. Older forts were having this. Yeah, there's type for them because yeah, the protection from protection. the enemies, yeah. This is the basement. Like a pillar. Yeah, yeah. So this is the basement for the drawn bridge. And connect to the other place. Ah, mm -hmm. yeah. So this this place uh, from here, from here to there. Yeah. One bridge was there. Yeah, bridge, drawn bridge. Uh, drawn, yeah, wooden drawn bridge. So and in between the water was there, and in this water, all the persons are crocodiles and snakes were there. All the persons are coming inside. The bridge is lifted up. Yeah, as we have seen in movies and all. So this is the place from where one bridge was there. So people used to go from here to there through the bridge, and in between the water is was there. Still, some water is there. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you sir. Sir, your name, please. My name is My name is Gogulan, tourism police, and his name is uh, Srinivasan, sub inspector of police. And uh, okay. WCPO Rajini. Yeah. So you will uh, you stay here only or? You yeah, here, here the the yeah. tourism police here. Mm. It's good, sir. Thank so you. if you are coming here to Saint Angelo's Fort, please meet sir. If you have any doubt, please ask him. He will clear your doubts and he will explain also. If you 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 will see this video also, you will get to know everything. <laughs> so thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Then what is mean by fort? The fort means it's come from the Latin words. Moreover, the French people are also using the fort. F O G forte, forte, forte means strong. Trefort means very strong. Then strong place occupied the military post or trade post surrounded by walls. That's called fort. Whenever and wherever you go, the surrounded by walls in the forts. Then.